All right, so um, in this video will be downloading Java JDK and Eclipse. Just I just want to show you the two sites to download those specifically for Mac users. Um, but if you Google Java JDK 8, first websites, oracles, you'll have to accept the license agreement and then select the operating system that you're using. So we're going to use Mac OS here. All right, that's the first thing you need. Uh, take a couple minutes to download. Uh, the other thing you need is Eclipse. And so if you search for Eclipse download uh, and go to the eclipse.org slash downloads website, uh, you're going to download the 64-bit version. Um, this is like the installer. So it's not a, You're not downloading Eclipse. You're downloading an installer that will install Eclipse for you. Um, and it'll say Mac 64 there for Mac users. Windows users, same thing. Just download the Windows users and uh, yeah, go ahead and let those download. And then um, once they finish downloading, uh, we can install them. So uh, I just skipped ahead a little bit. So if you need to pause the video, go ahead. But you'll need your password here um, in order to install it. Mine is just updating. I already installed it. And so the installation is very quick. Yours will probably take a couple minutes to do this process. Um, once you finish it, you can move the JDK file to the trash. You don't need it anymore. Um, it just installs Java. And if you want to check if you have Java installed already, or if you have the latest version, you can go to your system preferences on a Mac. Um, on a PC, you should be able to go to program files and see what Java you have installed. Um, but if you go to system update, um, there'll be a Java and you can see what update you're on, what version of Java you have. Um, so we have 1.8, which is which is good. And so we're all good here. Um, and once you install Java, you can't you can't install Eclipse until you install Java. So don't try to do these in the opposite order. Install Java first, then go to the Eclipse installer. Um, and it, it'll just take a second to load up here. and we will do Eclipse IDE for Java developers. There's a whole bunch of different packages you can use depending on um, how, what you want to code, but uh, the base package is fine for us. So IDE for Java developers, and then go ahead and hit install. And uh, it'll, it'll take a minute, and there's a user agreement, but you'll see it takes a minute and installs. Uh, so I'm skipping ahead here. All right, and then once it finishes installing, you'll see the launch button. And you can go ahead and launch it, and it'll pop up the window for you to select your workspace. All right, and so we'll talk about um, creating a workspace. Right, but again, you can go ahead and delete these installer files, move them to the trash. You don't need to keep them in your downloads. They're, they're not doing anything at that point except taking up space. Um, all right, so the, the third part is now setting up your workspace. Um, so I've minimized Eclipse, um, and what I what I'm doing there is just uh, lock, docking it so that it's it's there and I don't have to find it from where I installed it. Um, but what I want to do is create a new folder, and I'm going to call this folder um, Java Workspace. All right, and then that's where my files are going to get saved to. I'm just going to put it right there on my desktop. Um, you can make it default if you want to. I'm not going to because I'm going to be switching between Java and Python here. Um, so just to make sure you have Eclipse up and running, um, we're actually going to write some Java code before we write some Python code. Uh, when you start Eclipse for the first time on a new workspace, you'll get the welcome screen. You can uncheck the box, always show welcome at startup, so that doesn't show up. Um, and then you have you know, the ability to kind of adjust the workspace as you see fit. Um, so for me, I, I like keeping the package explorer on the left. Um, I don't really use outline or task list, um, so I, I go ahead and exit those ones out. Um, and I'm going to write my code in the middle there, and then package explorer is where you're going to create your new files that you make so uh, right click on it and create a new Java project 
we're just going to make sure that everything's up and running correctly. And you'll see you, you should have Java SE 1.8 there for the environment. It's the one we just downloaded. So I'm just going to name it Java Test. I uh, have it created. And inside of that project, I'm going to create a class. And this is going to be a test class. Um, simple Hello World. And so we'll just go ahead and type in here uh, system dot out dot print ln. Sorry about that. Not sure why that's popping up there, but Macs are weird. Uh, and then just parentheses and the semicolon. So that's Java syntax. Again, we're not gonna we're not gonna learn Java in this class. We're gonna be using Python, but. Um, just to make sure we have Eclipse up and running and Java installed correctly, we can just quickly test a print statement. Uh, always save resources before launching if you don't want that box to pop up. And you'll see in the console, it pops up Hello World. Okay, so now we're ready to um, install Python and PyDev. Okay, so what you want to do with, in order for us to be able to get Python code in Eclipse, is we need to install a plugin called uh, PyDev. So if you go up to the Eclipse Marketplace and you search for uh, PyDev, P-Y-D-E-V, <coughs> it'll, it'll uh, be the only one that pops up there. You can go ahead and hit install. It's going to ask you to con uh, accept some license agreements. And then you'll go ahead and hit finish. Uh, and you'll see the install happening in the bottom right corner as it, as it counts up there. So it'll take a minute. And once it finishes installing, it's going to ask you to reset um, Eclipse. So in order for us to use PyDev as a plugin, um, we need to actually download Python as well. Now, Macs come with Python 2.6 and 2.7, um, but we want to use Python 3, so we're going to go ahead and download that. Um, you can 3.6.4 I believe is the latest version currently um, but just get the new, newest version is going to be fine they're coming out with versions pretty often so uh, we'll go ahead and download that and run the install on it it should be a pretty quick install Uh, again, you're going to have to input your user password for that. And let that install. Right, so we're installing Python out on our actual computer. and Eclipse, we're installing, installing PyDev. And the um, PyDev plugin is going to use the Python program that we're installing here. Okay, so we're going to restart because it finished installing PyDev. Python's almost done there. Okay, so we have Python 3.6. Again, you can move the um, package to the trash. Uh, we're going to relaunch Eclipse here. And then just to verify, you know, if you want to see where your Python is, you can go into Finder. Um, And look under applications, and you're going to be able to see um, that you have Python 3.6 installed right there. And so uh, we're back into Python. Now, we want to code in Python, not in Java. And so we want to change our perspective. If we go to the top right, we can open up a new perspective, a PyDev perspective. Now, the problem is we're still in our Java workspace, so our code is still in Java, and we want to be coding in Python. And so PyDev is not actually doing anything right now. Um, at this point, um, I like to keep my Java and my Python workspaces separately um, rather than just switching perspectives. So I'm going to actually create a new folder here for Python workspace. And then I'm going to go into Eclipse. I'm going to do File, Switch Workspace, and select 
uh, my Python workspace from my desktop rather than my Java workspace. Again, they're just directories that we're storing files in, so. All right, and so we'll go ahead and open up Eclipse once more. And this time we're opening up our other workspace, so it's gonna reset back to the default. We're gonna have the welcome screen again. So you can exit out of that, and exit out of the bars on the right, and all that good stuff. Resize the window. So I'm going to go up to my new perspective, PyDev perspective, and open that up. Um, and now what I what I need to do is uh, create a new project. It's not a Java project this time. Now it's just a project, um, and we're going to make it a PyDev project. So from the drop-down list, we're going to expand PyDev. Um, we'll just type in uh, test, and we don't have the project interpreter yet. So we need to tell it where Python is. And the problem with a Mac is that because it comes with 2.6 on it, that's going to be the default. Um, so we want to configure manually. Um, and you can do a few uh, quick auto configs. And you'll see the location of where it's configuring. And it's actually going to come up with quite a few different versions. There's 2.6, 2.7. Uh, Python 3 and 3.6 so we're gonna use um, 3.6 so we can go ahead and remove all the other ones um, and rename 3.6 so I'm gonna keep 3.6 on the list and I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the other ones um, from here alright so if, oh, you just click on each one and um, hit the remove button We're not removing them from the computer, we're just removing them from the Eclipse path. And so now uh, we'll only have that one, and we'll make sure that we're selecting that one. Uh, let's rename it. Python 4 is not that, that good. So just double click on it to rename it, and we'll name it rename it Python 3.6, so we know. Uh, hit apply and close. It's going to take a second to... Um, Put all the path together, and then we're we're good to go. So, switch this to Python 3.6. Um, default, there's only one again, so it doesn't really matter which one we pick. All right, and then we'll go ahead and hit finish, uh, and the project should make itself. And now we should be able to write some Python code. So we'll create a new uh, PyDev module. So right click new. PyDev module and name it. Um, we'll, we'll, we're going to name this PyGame Test. Um, and I shared the PyGame Test with you on Schoology, so you can um, download that and, and put it in for here. Um, I'm just going to empty. These default Eclipse preferences, um, you can set those to whatever um, you want. If you want to read them, you can, you can kind of see what they do, but. Uh, you don't have to change them at all. All right, so uh, for this file, we're just going to go ahead and test our Python uh, compiler, make sure we have version 3 working. Um, big difference between version 2 and version 3 is the parentheses around print statements. Um, so if we print and we leave off the parentheses, it won't compile. If we print with parentheses, it will compile. So uh, if we print hello world, and we go ahead and go up to run. We're going to run this as a Python run. And you'll see in the console it oh, forgot a space. All right. But like I was saying, if, if we leave out the parentheses, um, this syntax would work in Python 2, 2.6, 2.7, but not in Python 3. So we'll see if we get an error there. If we try to run it, um, we're going to get a missing parenthesis and called print. Okay, so it looks like we have everything set up and working, and so I'm going to wrap the video up there, um, and then I'll make one more video about how we can install Pygame on a Mac and a Windows.